Hello guys, in this video I'm gonna teach you how to do this nice logo in Illustrator and Photoshop. So we're gonna start with Illustrator. So I already have the colors here. Let's get the rectangle and click once and put these dimensions 150 by 150. Press OK. And make sure you don't have any stroke and choose any color. Then go to Effects, 3D and Extrude and Bevel. And make sure the depth is the same as the height and width, 150. And the surface, put it on wireframe for now. And the position, put it on isometric left. And press OK. And now just move it here temporarily. And get the rectangle tool again and click once and put the same dimensions. Press OK. And now you can go to Object, Path, and Split into Grid. And choose the rows as 3 and columns 3. Press OK. And now you can edit the squares inside. So choose these rectangles holding shift and get the eyedropper and pick this color and these rectangles with this color and then one inside with the last color so go to window and choose symbol and just select all of this and drag it inside and let's name it s3 okay and we can delete this one now and we have it inside the symbols so let's drag this one back and now go to window and choose appearance and here you can see all the fill and stroke and the extrude we did to this cube so go to the extrude and put it back to plastic shading and then go to map art and in the surface you can pick any side you want so let's pick the sides which show which is this side in the symbol you can put the s3 we created and choose the other side on top and put it S3 and the last side which shows this one and put it S3 and press OK and OK and now we have this cube so let's zoom in and start editing this cube we need the shape we created last time so let's go to object expand appearance and now select it and right click and ungroup and do ungroup again and again until it's done then press this part here and right click release clipping mask and this one release clipping mask and this one the same thing and now you can ungroup them individually so now you can edit them individually you can select this one and this one color them move them do whatever you want so you notice there's like a square behind them a gray one we will delete this later so let's keep it for now and let's zoom in and start editing so let's edit this cube here. Let's select this side and get the eyedropper and select this color. And select this side, eyedropper and this color. And this cube here, let's hold shift and select all its sides and hold L to get the two cursors and just shift and drag to copy. Copy it here, then zoom in and select this anchor here and just stick it to this anchor so it will be exact. Let's zoom out and let's delete all this underneath we don't need them and now select this one again hold shift and select all the sides and hold alt and just copy and select this anchor here and stick it to this anchor and do the same thing to this side right click on it arrange bring to front and select this anchor and stick it to this anchor and now delete this and this and now we should color them so select all these top sides and eyedropper with this color and select this cube here go to the rotate double click on it and put it 180 degrees press ok and now it's upside down so click this side eyedropper yellow and this side eyedropper yellow so now let's remove symbols and zoom out and let's create the honey shape so select this one and place it here and hold out to get the two cursors and shift and drag copy once and copy twice and then select this one here copy up and then rotate this one holding shift to get it 180 degrees and then select this one here hold out and copy once and copy twice and now we have six of them so let's arrange them i'm gonna place this one here and this one here and this one here and the last one here so that's the shape we want so let's select one of them and copy it or maybe this one and place it here and zoom in and now let's select this sides delete them and let's create a cube 
Okay, and then select these three sides and get the rotate and put it 180. And let's change the colors. This one, eyedropper with this color. And this one, eyedropper this color. So we have a cube now. So let's select the cube and put it in the middle. And now let's change the colors. So if you look at this one here, which is the main one, you can see the yellow is on the right and the orange is on the left and the dark areas are going inside towards this cube. So that's what we want, what we want to do. We want to do all of them, the dark areas going inside towards the cube and the yellow should go clockwise and the orange should go anti-clockwise. So let's change everything. So select all of the ones going inside. And color them dark and now the ones going clockwise which are these should be yellow and the ones going anti-clockwise these should be orange okay so now the yellow is going clockwise the orange is going anti-clockwise and the dark areas are going towards the cube so now, now let's place them select this one and select it by the anchor when you see anchor here let's zoom in so you can see it when you see anchor just grab it by here and place it on this anchor here and now this one by the anchor place it here and this one by the anchor place it here and this one by the anchor very hard to get the anchor okay and this one anchor here and this one the last one anchor here so we will have this shape here so now we have to delete the cube so delete the cube We don't need it anymore and now get the pen tool and start connecting each of them together select connect these together and this one here with its opposite and this one with its opposite and this one with its opposite and this one with its opposite and the last one here with its opposite and we're done so select everything and get the paint bucket and click once now you can color inside it so get the eyedropper get the orange and with the paint bucket just continue the oranges and then get the eyedropper again yellow and paint bucket continue the yellows and we take it to photoshop and we add an adjustment layer gradient and put it on radial and the colors i'm gonna put it on purples I'm gonna choose this color here. Some other colors might have different effects, so try to experiment. So, okay, and okay, and put it on overlay, and we're done.